There is a matter of great importance before us, which each individual will have to ponder in his own heart. The time of decision is at hand, and each person must decide for himself what is best for his situation, life, family, and so forth. There will, of course, be no wrong decisions because this is a matter for the individual. Some will continue to stand with us, others will not. To those who select another path, I wish you Godspeed and will continue to pray for your protection and success. These are hard times, demanding hard choices, and the crossroads of our future lies before us tonight. Those of you who heard William Cooper's Hour of the Time broadcast last night may be wondering many things. You may be wondering what hope remains for those of us who love liberty and have put our lives on the line to see it restored and maintained. You may be wondering what profit exists in the electoral process. You may be wondering about presidential candidates or the ambitions of the common law courts. In order to reach any kind of meaningful conclusion in those lines of thought, it is necessary to really stretch your mind to consider life beyond the present moment, something most Americans are incapable of doing. There are hard facts to face, and many of you may have to do a lot of research to determine for yourself that what I am about to set before you is true. I do not ask that you accept without question what I say. I would never do that. As I said before, these are matters for the individual heart and should be approached slowly and prayerfully because the time of reckoning is at hand. You should not reach your decisions tonight just because of some meeting you attend, nor should you fly off the handle and decide that everything set before you is baloney and unworthy of consideration. Take some time to think this through, make your own decisions, and then stand steadfast and unmovable upon them. We have all clung to principles and ideals which have been comfortable for us and have given us all hope. Some of those ideals are unrealistic in the political climate of the present moment. It is important to do a checkup from the neck up to make certain that your expectations are in line with reality. And there is a reason for this. If freedom-loving people go into the future with unreasonable or impossible expectations, and then those expectations are dashed to the ground by the reality that we are now foreseeing for the future of America, they will have spent themselves in the conflict and will have no strength to persevere and endure beyond the excited phase of things. We're talking emotional preparedness now, spiritual preparedness. Intellectual and physical preparedness are only parts of the issue. Those who expect instant gratification will not be able to endure, and that is an unfortunate trait of most Americans. Endurance is going to be the name of the game. Education and tactics will be even more important then than they are now, because some people who will eventually help us will not wake up until they realize that it's all over. <laughs> 